Now I'd like to introduce you to Wakoit Bay Reserve's manager, Christine Galt, who will introduce you to Wakoit, Wakoit Bay's Reserve. Hi, Hi Mindy. How are you? Great. And hi, everyone out there. Uh, first, I wanted to let you know where we're located. On this map of the United States, we're up here in New England in Massachusetts. And getting a close-up of Massachusetts, we're here on this uh, piece of land called Cape Cod that sticks out into the Atlantic Ocean. And we're on the south shore in a place called Wakoit Bay. And to get a little closer, this is Wakoit Bay. And the Wakoit Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve is a lot of this area in here. Now, the Wakoit Bay Reserve is part of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and also the Massachusetts Department of Conservation and Recreation. This is um, where the fresh water from the land meets the salt water from the ocean. Uh, we're at the headquarters of the Wakoit Bay Reserve, right at the head of the bay. And this is where we conduct a lot of our research and education programs. This bay is very typical of many bays like this in New England, and because of that, people can come here and study the bay and learn about a typical kind of bay. And then we take what we learn and we translate it out to the coastal decision makers and to the public. And that's what those researchers are working on here. Now, what is an estuary? What makes this an estuary? Looking back at the map, you'll see that um, this is a watershed. And you can see all the fresh water that comes down, uh, meeting the salt water that comes in from the bay. The estuary is an estuary not only because of the fresh water and salt water meeting, but because it is a protected area. You can see South Cape Beach and Washburn Island. They form a barrier that protects this bay from storms. And so the fish and the shellfish have a safe place to live. And if you look again out at the bay, you can see Washburn Island out there, and you can see the barrier beach, and it acts like two arms that protect the bay from storms and things like that. The rainwater falls sometimes on the wetlands and then from the wetlands it falls, it, it can follow the, uh, into small streams and then from the small streams it can flow by ponds and then it can even flow um, by cranberry bogs. And then from there it can go into by a herring run where the saltwater fish come up into the fresh water to lay their eggs. And then it keeps on flowing and it, it makes bigger streams and it starts becoming a river. And on the way it flows by golf courses, it flows by lots of ho homes, some of which are being built right now. It also flows by lots of traffic and development. And all of that has impact on the river that we'll be hearing about in a little bit. But it keeps flowing, it can, becomes a bigger and bigger river. And it starts mixing then with the salt water from the ocean and then it starts being an estuary. And it flows on out to Wakoit Bay where it becomes salty and becomes real salt water. <laughs> 